Hi, I'm Jason Yellick, and I wanted to give a quick demo of Fab 704, which um, is in uh, went in in Sprint 3. And this is around defining signature validation policies. So you'll find in the order atomic broadcast ab.proto file a couple new messages, um, the signature policy envelope and the signature policy. Um, and this allows for the definition of some pretty generic signature validation policies, and I'll explain how that works here. So first, this envelope is always the outermost structure, uh, which in, encodes the signature validation policy. It has a version, um, just so that we can modify the semantics going forward, a policy, um, which we'll explain in a second, and then identities. Now the identities are specified at this top level envelope um, because the policy might refer to the same identity in multiple contexts and we don't want to have to uh, encode that identity over and over again. So uh, identities will be referenced by the index of their offset in this identity structure. So on to the signature policy itself. It's actually a recursive uh, message, uh, namely uh, you can embed signature policies within a signature policy. Um, so the, the simplest case is a policy that requires a signature from one of the identities above. You'll notice this is an integer, which is just an offset into this set of identities. Um, and the other type is this n out of type, um, which is defined here. It requires n of the following set of policies be satisfied. Um, so notice that this is a set of policies and not identities, which means we can actually nest these n out of constructs. So you can come up with a policy that might say something like, I need um, the signature from entity A and one of the signatures from entities B, C, and D. Um, so really, you can actually get quite expressive with this, um, and depending on how far you want to nest them. So once you have this signature policy envelope, um, you can go ahead and uh, fill it with all sorts of these logical operators. Um, so here in uh, orderer common cauth dsl, there's a file called cauth dsl builder.go, um, just to, to help facilitate this, largely just used for, for testing right now. But you can create this envelope and uh, Within the envelope, you'll specify a policy and those identities. And then you can really just use the rest of these as logical operators. So for the policy, you could use and with a left-hand side and a right-hand side. And for that left-hand side, you might use or, you might use and out of. Um, and really, you can basically construct your policy message um, as easily as that. Um, and I'll show an example at the end of this. Uh, here, in that same directory, there's cauthdsl.go, um, and this is a Go implementation which evaluates a signature policy as defined by that protobuf. So you'll see, to create a new evaluator, you'll pass in that policy that was defined, as well as a crypto helper, and this crypto helper, all it really does is just allows us to verify a single signature, um, you know, because we'll, we'll need that depending on the particular signing scheme that's in place. Um, so you just pass in this policy, the helper, and then it's going to actually build a Go evaluatable function um, by calling this compile method, um, which is essentially going to recurse building functions, linking them together. Um, and then finally, once you have this signature policy evaluator, you can simply call authenticate, given a message, set of IDs, and signatures, and it will return a Boolean um, uh, as to uh, why uh, or whether or not it validated. Um, so here is the little test file for that. And you can see that uh, here's that API in use, create an envelope requiring that the policy of signed by zero and signed by one. And of course, here's our set of signers. Or it can really get as complex as you want. It can be and this whole statement, as well as signed by zero. And then within this statement, um, we have that um, it's either ORD, 
one of these two, which are themselves ands. Um, and so you can see you can actually express some pretty complicated logic here. And just to prove that it works, uh, we can go ahead and run a test here, and you'll see that, in fact, all of these um, different signature policies evaluated um, and that no errors were encountered. Thanks.